So then we will now go to the power forwards. Um, we are now entering the territory of the big guys. Yeah. Uh, so the guy that I have yeah. as my number one power forward um, is yeah. Pachernova of YMCA. Yeah, Pache. Um, Pache yeah. is, has been consistently one of the best players we've had in the Gambia for the past couple of years. Um, yeah. I've heard but from people saying that, you know, he's kind of declining now a little bit. He's not the same uh, player that he was, you know, a few years ago. But, yeah. I mean, that's part of the game and that comes with age. Um, but I still yeah, think right. that, you know, Pache is one of the most valuable players that we have in our game today. And he's, he's, he's a game changer, yeah. you know, with just the experience and his skill set. Yeah, I think he, he is still a threat. Yeah. And a lot of the kids look up to yeah. him too. The other guy that I have um, is Buba Cham. Now, this guy... Buba Cham, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I knew about him last year during the Palmer South Basketball Tournament. And I think that's probably one of the, the first times that, you know, most people have even seen him play. I'm sure he, um, he's been playing for a while because the way he plays, it shows that this, this, this guy really knows how to play. I think Buba Cham is one of the best players, if not the best player in the country right now. You know, um, he has some, he has yeah. international experience, but he has, he also has one of those bodies. You know, yeah. Buba, he's tall, he's big. And yeah. he was one of the main reasons why I say Serekunda yeah. East is the most ready team right now if it comes to international competition because of people like Buba. Yeah. You know, Buba can bang yeah. with anybody out there. You know, he can play with NBA yeah, players. Right. You know, he's not mm -hmm. that, he's not at that level yet, but Buba yeah. is built like an NBA player. You know, yeah. he's built like, you know, those kind of people like um, folks like uh, maybe Draymond Green and that kind yeah. of stuff, you know, but he, mm -hmm. but he's very, very skillful also. So tell me a little bit about uh, Buba Chan. Yeah, but Boba plays with his heart. With his heart. Yeah. He's always playing 100%. When Boba is on the floor, he gives it all out. Yeah. No backing out. Even if he's losing, he gives 100%. If he's winning, he gives 100%. That's what I like about him. He's so competitive. He's always putting his team first. He's a team player. He's always trying to find a way to make sure his team is winning. And I really respect that about him. He's also one of the players I would love to play with because he's a good player and he's one of the great scorers in the league. Yeah. He does he, he doesn't care whether you're tall or short or big. Mm -hmm. When he's coming at you, he's gonna come 100 percent hard on you, no matter who you are. And he always tries to find a way to make pocket counts for his team and yeah. try to make sure he finds his open place so that they can make the bucket count. I respect that about him. And I'm pretty sure next season he's gonna come big. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. Because he's always hungry. He always likes to win. He hates losing. You know, that's the kind of players we need in this game. And I respect that from him. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the most complete players that we have, man. Uh, really yeah. Game yes. and, and, he and he was the MVP of the Palma um, Yeah, he is well, well deserved. You no, know? yeah, because he did play well, even though they lost during the finals, yeah. but yeah. he was named the MVP. So, well deserved. yeah, so the next one that I have is uh, one of my favorite players. I'm really excited about this guy. Yeah. He's very quiet. He doesn't talk much. Uh, yeah. East Samba, uh, Ibrahim yeah. Samba of the Kodo Blue Ninjas. Um, yeah. um, I was lucky enough to play with him, you know, some, um, how to call it, pickup games, you know, me, you, yeah. and him, you know, and folks like, you know, yeah. Mo, Musali, Tan and all those guys, you know, we, all played over there. But, I mean, yeah. my respect for Isamba came, you know, during your semifinal game that we talked about um, against YMCA. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the kid was just, I mean, he was all over the place. You know, his his, his defense was great on Pache. We That's already right. talked about that. But his offense also, man. Yeah. Isamba, just like I said, Isamba and Ilinjai yeah. are the two players that... If I was recruiting, yeah. if I was recruiting for a university or yeah. for a team or you know that kind of stuff, 
These are the two players I will look at a lot. I will look at all the players. But just looking at their skill set yeah. and how young they are, yeah. you know, and their bodies and the potential that their game has, yeah. I think Isamba is somebody that really needs to be looked at. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, you know Isamba. You played with Is Is Isamba, you know, yeah. all these years. So tell yeah. me something about Isamba that folks do not yeah. know, and especially his game. Well, Isamba is one of the kids I love. Man, I love him like a brother, mm -hmm. you know, because I've seen Istanbul when he was young. Yeah. He was very small. He was a small kid. <laughs> he was a very soft kid, you know. I watch Istanbul train hard every single day, always trying to make sure he's a better player, you know. And we love that that in, in, in him. And he was the young, only youngest player we had in our team. And we showed love to him, and because he was willing to be a better player, because yeah. he was always trying to compete. The top in our team players like Amo, he was always trying to compete Amo in in a re very respectful way, right? You know? And it paid, paid 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 a lot, you know, because later he was always trying to get better and get better, he wants to get better every single day, and he always wants to be on top. He's just like Idi, like you said. They, they're very talented kids mm -hmm. and they just need good coaches so that they can teach them um, like, um, how, how is it called again? Uh, um, like fundamentals. Yeah, they need yeah. just a few fundamentals Yeah, and they'll be very great players for the Gambia, you know. Yeah, definitely. He's a, he's a very good kid. Yeah, yeah he is. He's you know, a very good kid. I, I love his game and I can, you know, watch him all day long. Because I mean, like he can do it on both sides of the court, which is the offense and defense. But his offense, yeah. too, you know, yeah. his offense, you know, he can do it from the inside and the outside also. I mean, if you want him to be a big man, inside and outside, you know, he he has the big man moves, you know, that he can be in the paint and he can hustle over there and yeah. he can make baskets. But if you need him, like, like uh, he's he's very hard to defend. You know, if he's playing with another team and the coach... Yeah, he's our Kobe. Kobe. Right. And the coach, you know, wants to put the big guy on him. What he's going to do, he's going to take the big guy out because he can shoot the tree yeah. also. And he has some good handles. Yeah, that's why he does. <laughs> so, so, I'm really excited about that kid, man. You know, and I wish him all the best, man. I think he's 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 definitely going to be great. Thanks. So, um, the next person that I have for you... It's uh, it's um, Mas San Luis Jata. Uh, I, I don't, yeah, I'm not really familiar with Mas's game. I've seen him. He's a high flyer. Yeah. You know, he's really good. Yeah, he uh, tell me a little bit about him. Yeah, Mas is one of the best high flyers we have. Yeah, and he's bouncy and he can do anything with the ball on the air. You know, and lately he's been working on his jump shots in yeah. the in the paint. And at first, he was really struggling with shooting, you know, because um, he was really, really struggling with shooting. But recently, he's been working hard on his shooting form and his shots are getting better. He's yeah. taking more shots now than before and he's making his shots. And he's still one of the best dunkers I've seen. And so he's a very good player. And I'm hoping to see him work more on himself in the next season too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, if it gets better, that means Serekundawes is, is, is just going to keep getting better, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, so the last yeah. one that I have for my power yeah, forwards. Need to step up. Yeah. So the last one I have for my power forwards is another kid that I love a lot. And I played some pickup games with him. Uh, this is Sang Kolindao. Sang Dao of um, yeah. um, YMCA. I think Sang, Sang, yeah. Sang has a lot of potential. Um, yeah, I, would love to, I would love to see more confidence from him. I would love to see him walk yeah. a little bit more on his body. He has a great body, man. The kid is about 6'8 or so, yeah. um, tall and lanky. But I think that, um, you know, if he walks a lot more on his on his game, uh, I've seen that yeah. he has improved on, on his shots a lot. You know, yeah. he, takes good, yeah. Yeah. he takes good mid-range shots. And I think that is something that's, that's, that's definitely going to help him yeah. a lot. I think he has a lot of room for improvement, but yeah. I think Sang has a lot of potential and he's one of the 
those young players that yeah. I'm really excited about. You know, yeah. I think this season um, is this season has to yeah. be the time or a season that Sang has to make a statement in the league yeah. and show everybody that he belongs and yeah. he can dominate. Uh, tell me more about Sang. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, like um, recently he's been working on his game, and now he's one of the uh, power forwards who's very good at the paint when it comes to uh, the the the, the mid range shots. Yeah, you know, he 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 said he's KD, and I I look at him like KD because yeah. we've been playing this Ramadan game at Serukunda West. There was one night, oh man, sun was light out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what came into him. He was, he was more than a KD. Yeah. Man, he was shooting defensively. He's been hard. He's working on his very good. You know, this is what I want to see. People trying to make themselves better. Yeah, and Sang is really good. doing that. With the help of Dan. Yeah. He's helping him. And he's a good kid. And yeah. I love the way he plays. And I'm pretty sure next season. He's gonna be one of the one of top top five players in the league. Yeah, I'm really excited about Sang Man. You know, he's a good kid also. Um, yeah. 